on the point about the energy consumption, I loved a statistic that you mentioned in an article you recently wrote on Inside Big Data that, in fact, nearly 40% of the world's carbon emissions comes from commercial real estate. So I think about sometimes when I go to an office and the air conditioning is just blasting. One, it's not efficient, and two, it's not good for those CO2 emissions. So I love that initiative. Can you explain a little bit more about what it takes to collect that data and measure that? You know, when I learned about that statistics, I was shocked because you really don't think about it. A lot of time you talk about carbon emission from airplane travel or driving ice cars. However, actually commercial real estate and residential real estate, they're actually the carbon emission is way more important problems than we originally thought. So JR, we really believe that we are in the position of actually helping everyone to really contribute to how do we uh, become a more sustainable world, right? There are a few things we do. The first thing is we collect sensor data. We have different software that we use to help automatically adjust the right level of temperature as well as lighting for buildings so that we can achieve the maximum comfort for the people inside the building as well as reduce energy consumption. We also help companies to plan out what are the CapEx projects they can do to actually help them to reduce carbon footprint within their building. So kind of solving the root problems. We have data collected and algorithm to help them to understand, hey, if you replace the windows in your building, how much carbon emission you, you are going to reduce by not having the heat or cool your buildings as, as much. And so that's another thing that we're also doing. There's a bunch of other technology and data that we're collecting and using to really help to reduce carbon footprint from a consumption perspective and also the root cause. 